what I'm going to show you today is uh, how we uh, create drawings and they, they're the maps for the laser shop uh, to cut the parts. We have uh, probably between eight and 850 parts that we cut and each part has to have its own drawing. As you can see on the screen, this is a Willie Boy side plate here. Let me, uh, that's what the side plate looks like for a wheelie bar. And if you take that same side plate, and here's that side plate in an assembly. And this assembly's got one, two, three, four, five, five parts on it. And you can see that's what it looks like after it's all put together. These uh, areas here will all be welds when it's time to weld it. But that's what the that's what this Willy Bar caster box looks like. So, with that being said, what we do is we create a drawing. This is a motor plate here. And what we do is we create a sketch, and that's the sketch. And each, each motor plate has its own part number, and it, it's a design to fit the chassis width and the, the, some of the motor plates we actually put steps in you know, like it will set a car up for a 5.3 motor and if you want to put a 5.2 in it you need a 1 inch setback if you got a 5.0 motor you need an inch and 3 eighths setback and that just we, we bend those plates after we cut them so what we actually have to do is we draw this and they're fairly simple to draw and that's a two-dimensional drawing right there. And then when you take that drawing and you turn it into a three-dimensional drawing, which is, I'll do that right now. Now, oops, this thing's kind of, now you can see it's got dimension to it. And when you turn it into a three-dimensional drawing, what it does, it it eliminates any. It, it will not. It, it'll find errors if any of your drawing view has uh, overlapping lines, and that would interfere. Those overlapping lines would interfere with the laser when it was cutting. So if, if it in SolidWorks, that's what this drawing program is. When you turn it into a solid uh, uh, three-dimensional object it looks for those overlapping lines and it will not turn it into a solid or a three-dimensional part unless all those lines are, are um, eliminated or mistakes are eliminated. Then what you do is you save it as a DXF file and I'll show you what that looks like. This file right here is the file that we send over to the laser shop that the laser actually cuts the parts off of. And as long as there's no corrupt overlapping lines, which, like I just said, the, the dra drafting program has eliminated them, the laser will make a nice, smooth, clean cut. And that's what it takes to make a part. And we've got, I've been making these drawings for years, and uh, we just got the laser recently. So uh, I'm having to turn all these drawings into, my drawings originally were just two-dimensional drawings and I'm having to turn them into three-dimensional drawings and then turn them into these DXF files so we can have uh, the files to cut the parts. That's what we do.